Hey Aries, what's going on with you guys? This is your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your weekly read. This is going to be Sunday, February 2nd through Saturday, February 8th. Aries, I hope all is well with you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying your Aquarius season. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that I love and appreciate the support that you give to the channel. Thank you so much in the many ways that you guys do support. You know, some of you donate to the channel, and I do appreciate you, and uh, thank you so much, okay? Um, if you are a Patreon member, um, the free winners, well, the, the free winners, the free readings, the winners for the free readings uh, were posted within the last 24 hours, so please um, check out the uh, list if you are a Patreon member. Um, if you're not and you want to be a member, the link's in the box below. If you need a private reading, the information's in the box below. Aries, if you find this does not resonate with you, uh, take what does, leave the rest, and check the other placements in your chart. You know, check your moon sign, things like that. There's a link in the box below that will um, show you how to do that. Okay, so Aries, one more thing I want to let you know before we begin the reading is that <clears throat> we are... In the pre-shadow stages, well, by the time February 3rd gets here, we're going to be in the pre-shadow stages of Mercury Retrograde. The actual meat and potatoes of Mercury Retrograde begins February, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the 19th and it goes through to March 10th. But we have a pre-shadow stage, which is two weeks before that February 10th date. I mean, February, what is it, 17th or 19th or something like that. But at any rate, it starts February 3rd, that pre-shadow period. And then um, two weeks after that is when actual Mercury retrograde rate, you know, begins. And then it ends on March 10th and then there's two weeks of a post shadow period. So that's going to lead you to at least the third week of March. So there's a lot of things that you want to keep in mind during this retrograde energy. You know, you could run into old friends, old colleagues, old classmates, um, Old co-workers, you know, somebody who, you know, you may have been on a football team with. All kinds of people you can run, in from, run into from the past, okay? That could happen. Um, sometimes you can run into old lovers. You know, sometimes you may not run into these people. Sometimes you might just think about them, okay? You know, maybe um, if it was a situation where, <clears throat> you know, things maybe ended on a sour note, all right? And maybe you're in the mindset where maybe, you know, I wish I could have changed that, you know? But it didn't. It, you couldn't. That that's the type of thing that people could be thinking about. Doesn't mean that they're gonna reach out and call you. Some may try to find you. I can't say who will and who won't. You know. But some people, you know, they'll just think about that and they'll just, you know, it'll come to your mind just like it might yours. Don't sign any documentation during this time as far as big ticket item purchases. Okay. Be very careful. You know. Um. I wouldn't sign anything until like the last week of uh, March. First week of April. Try to prolong things, you know, as far as contracts if you can. Some people, you know, will sign things and misunderstand. And it's not that you don't understand the contracts and you haven't signed a million of them before. It's just you may, you know, based on these energies, you may interpret things in a way that may not actually be the case. So clarity is really important. Be careful not to um, do any spur of the moment traveling during this time frame. You know, just keep in mind that, you know, you could experience delays or glitches with your travel plans in some way shape or form that were you know brought on by computer issues okay um you know be careful if you're going to text someone or send someone something to complete the whole sentence and make sure it goes to the person it's intended to you know and be careful what you're sending okay and i'll leave that to your imagination <laughs> some of you like to um you know communicate in in all sorts of ways and send all sorts of pictures just make sure that those ways of communication are going to the people that it's intended for. Mercury retrograde will cause issues, you know, where you could be sending it to one person, but it really is going to someplace else. Be careful. All right, I think that's all of the warning that I need to give you in reference to Mercury retrograde. Yeah, oh, one other thing. Any lovers that come back, it's recommended that you don't get intimate with them or decide to take them back until after the retrograde, after the post period, the post shadow period. So that includes, you know, family members that you had a falling out with and you may be reconnecting, you know, old lovers that you may want to get intimate with. You know, you may have to hold your horses just for a little while. You don't want to, you know, reconnect with someone from the past during the Mercury retrograde. 
Reason being is that you may change your mind later and realize, oh my God, what was I thinking? Why would I do that? You know, and now you may be in a situation where you're stuck with this person and trying to tell them that you really don't want to be with them. And, you know, they're under the impression, oh, you took me back and just avoid the unnecessary drama. And besides that, maybe there's something that this person could be, you know, hiding from you or trying to hide that maybe you just can't see in their communication during a Mercury retrograde. But once the retrograde is clear, maybe that communication style of theirs would be more, um, more viewable. You know, you might be able to determine things or see, okay, oh, okay, I can read between the lines with this person. I've dealt with them before. I know how they, I know what they're talking about when they say this. So uh, based on that, I'm not going to deal with this person. You know, something like that. Let's get to the reading though. I got Ace of Cups here. I'm sorry, Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles, and I got Ten of Cups. What's going on, Aries? You got a solid relationship here. Is someone taking a solid relationship to the next level? Or is someone going to be asked to someone in the marriage talks here? All right, someone looking at buying a new house, looking at relocating with their partner. Hmm, let's see what else we got here. Four of Wands. Four coins in reverse. Yeah, somebody's definitely ready to move in and settle down and celebrate. Or you guys are going to somebody's wedding or something like that. And um, it looks like you guys are going to be spending some money. Okay? You're sparing no expense. All right, Aries. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so let's see what we got for you guys. What's going on with Aries? All right, Aries. That was, that was good vibes. Good vibes. All right, so the current situation, nine of cups in reverse. Now, this is Neptunian energy, okay, Pisces. It could be Jupiterian, too, because that both Pisces. But because this is uh, Pisces energy, we'll say Neptune here. Now, because Neptune is in Pisces right now, anyway. So, nine of cups reverse. This is you looking at a situation where... At one point, you felt like this was what you really, really wanted. You know, and now you're looking at it like, you know what? It was something I really, really wanted. It's not something I want right now. Or it's not something that I want any longer. <laughs> this is the type of situation you want to avoid in a Mercury retrograde, which is why you don't want to make decisions about things until after because you could be in a state of mind where you regret the decision you made. Now, let's look at the challenge in this situation. We have the hermit in reverse, okay? This is you, um, you going in and thinking about the situation, but not coming up with, you know, the solution, you know, not coming up with any real, any real fulfillment with the decision, you know, or with what you realize, like you figure like there's more to it than that. Maybe you're not accepting what the reality of the situation is. Maybe you're not looking at, you know, what part you played in a situation. Okay. Maybe you're looking at all the things you're trying to figure out what you might have missed, you know, to make you realize that this was, you know, that maybe this person fooled you in some way, shape or form. And so you're just going within trying to figure out what this person did that, you know, made you realize that, you know, this was something that you didn't want with them anymore. Now, the universe wants you to keep in mind the five of wands reverse. So the universe wants you to keep in mind that at some point there was no peace here. There was a lot of stress, a lot of drama, could have been a lot of fighting, could have been a lot of competition. Okay. Could have been a lot of responsibility. But something that was, you know, it was conflicting with what you were trying to do. And it caused conflicts in your decision-making process. Okay, or, or it made you. These, these conflicts put you in a position where you determined that something was not your work. Let's see where your head is at. We have justice. So your head is at being fair. You want what's right. You want what's right. You want what's fair. All right. And you feel that, you know, maybe you feel that you are being fair. Maybe you want to take things to um, a legal, maybe you want to go legally, a 
okay, maybe maybe you want to um, get married. Again, remember when I was pulling the cards and shuffling, I saw the Four of Wands. I saw the Ten of Cups. I showed you guys. I saw the um, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, these cards are all representation of relationships taken into the next level. Going from a relationship, a committed relationship to maybe being engaged, moving in together, getting married. So maybe this is what's on your mind, making things legal. Now the outcome, Ten of Wands reverse. So maybe you let go and you do it. Maybe you let go of the idea of getting married altogether because maybe you're seeing that this is not what you want. You're trying to see if being married is worth it is what I'm getting. Um, two coins in reverse, maybe because you got other options here. Okay, with the two of coins reverse. Now, with the ten of wands here, this is you wanting to take a break perhaps from this relationship. All right, maybe, yeah, for some of you, you want to take a break, okay? Now, I don't know what a break would mean to you, but I, I just got taken a break. Um, some of you, you know, you're finally um, saying no to a situation, okay? Um, for others of you, you know, you're just letting the situation go. But let's clarify this Nine of Cups and, and see what we got going on here. So Nine of Cups in reverse. Clarify with the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups reverse again. Some of you don't really think that this is it's worth getting married. Some of you feel like you would give up your power. You know, you would give up, you know, the opportunity to just... Like, you want to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, at that moment, whether it's this time or that time, and you don't want to answer to someone else. You don't want, you're not in a position where you would feel comfortable with that. That's for some of you. So this is why you're looking at this like, I don't know if it's worth me getting married, all right, or, or settling with one person or choosing. Maybe it's a choice between getting married and not getting married, or it could be a choice between two people, which one to marry, or which one to be with. All right, so take it how it resonates. Now, the next set of cards we have is uh, the Knight of Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed. So for some of you, um, you're not being transparent in your communication at all. Um, you have clarity on what it is that you want to do, but you're not, you're not speaking up about it. You know, you're very, you, you, you're very clear with what you want and you know that this is not what you want. But you're not speaking up about it. You're not telling your partner or you're telling them what you want them to know. Um, or you guys are maybe not speaking right now. You guys could have had a fight. So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. So maybe you're focused on work right now, you know, and trying to figure out what it is that you want so that you can decide what you want to do. That's for some of you. Um, yeah, some of you are just focused on work and trying to manifest money, you know? And that's what's important to you. Now, as far as the hermit in reverse, that is the challenge. So let's take a look at the hermit in reverse. We have the five of wands and we have the nine of pentacles reversed. So for some of you... With the Five of Wands here, we have this is the second time the Five of Wands shows up here in this reading. Um, now, the, <clears throat> the Five of Wands talks to me in reference to a lot of stress going on, okay? And with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, um, it could be affecting your money. So maybe some of you, um, you don't have enough money to pay the bills, you know? It's for, it's for some of you. So this is why some of you are focused on, you know, working and maybe you're thinking, okay, well, maybe marriage is not what I need right now. Or maybe I can't afford that right now. I got too many bills going on and I'm not making enough money. All right. That's how some of you are feeling. Others of you, I have the Knight of Wands and I have the, uh, um, the Star card. Some of you, um, you want to move quickly. You realize that this is the one, you know, that's how you're feeling. Um, you definitely want to be with this person. 
Um, some of you, um, you're healing, okay, as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm getting that some of you, you really want to move quickly with this person, with the star card here. And this is your, this is the person that you really would want to be with. But I guess money is the situation here. For others of you, I have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you are very attracted to this person and you got a lot of people attracted to you. So some of you have a lot of options. And so, again, for some of you, it's about making a decision, you know, if, if you want to be married or be if you, if you still want to be single. Now, the universe wants you to keep in mind that you want drama free. Okay? <laughs> Five of Wands reverse. That's what I got when I looked at that. You want drama free. Okay? You don't want drama. <clears throat> because drama is not having enough money to pay the bills for some of you. Okay, now for others of you, I have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and I have the Emperor in reverse. So for some of you, yeah, it, you feel like this would be a situation that you would not be able to afford at this time. You know, some of you are still trying to get your business off the ground. Okay, and you know, you're having issues paying bills right now and now is just not a good time for you to invest in a marriage. Okay. Doesn't mean that you don't love this person or doesn't want to be with them, you know, or don't want to be with them. It's just that, you know, this for some of you, this is the one. For others of you, I have the Six of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, um, this is someone that you've been with for a long time. This is someone you've known since you were a child. Okay. Um. Some of you um, are in love with two people, someone from your past and someone that you're currently with. That's what I'm getting for some of you. <clears throat> and we're clarifying this five of wands in reverse. This is, you know, um, you know, some of the things that were causing issues. Now we have the hermit in reverse showing up again in this reading. And we have the death card. So for some of you... Um, the situation did end, or you're going to end the situation because, yeah, I'm showing that you guys are going to end, you're not going to get married. Yeah, some of you are not. Let's take a look at the justice card here, because that's where your head is at. You want to be fair, though. You know, you don't want to hurt this person. We have the five of swords reverse. Yes, you don't want to play games with them and the not and the king of swords reverse. Yes. You want to be truthful to them. You know, you don't want to come off as an asshole. You know, and that's exactly what you're concerned about. You want to be fair. We have the wheel of fortune in reverse. And then we have the ace of wands. This was the world card in reverse. I hope I said that. Under the five of wands in reverse. The world card in reverse, that's a misfortunate situation here with your, you know, the emperor in reverse with finances, you know, things are not going well with the business. Okay, so this is why somebody doesn't want to invest in, they don't want to put their energy and effort into a relationship right now because they're trying to get their business off the ground. And then we have the wheel of fortune in reverse and the ace of wands and it's like, yeah, you'd have to, you know, <clears throat> you feel that, you know, this would take away from, you know, you being able to make money, you know, and that's what, that's for some of you, that's what you want to do. You don't want to be unfair, but and for some of you, you feel like this situation is not going anywhere positive, you know, and you want something new. That's for some of you, but you want to be fair about it. For others of you, um, with the page of pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. You just want to let this person know that this is not working. It's not working for you. You're not interested in putting any effort into that. You're not interested in, in you know, and you, and you don't want to be secretive about it. You know, this is you not wanting to be an asshole. So um, with the Ten of Wands in reverse here, you're going to, you're going to let things go. You know, you have the Three of Swords reverse and you have the Six of Swords reverse. So some of you, you know, you're really stuck in your head with this. You know, you don't want to hurt anybody, you know, but this is, 
Hmm. Yeah, you 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 know, it's it's just difficult for you because that's where you're that's what's really bothering you. You know, but you don't want to feel stuck. And we have the eight of wands in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. So <clears throat> this person may have caught you and they're not speaking to you. Or you may have, you know, communicated this to this person and they feel that, you know, you're being um, you're being deceitful and you're being dishonest. Or you're not communicating with them and as a result that makes you look. Maybe you got caught out there somewhere, some shape or form, okay? Because this person is looking at you with the Seven of Swords reverse energy, all right? So maybe this is just you in denial about you not communicating, okay? That could be the case for some of you. Um, but then we have the Sun card and we have the, what is this, the Five of Cups? No, oh, this is the Sun card in reverse. No, Temperance in reverse, so the sun card and temperance in reverse. So, I mean, if you made this person happy, you know, you would things wouldn't be balanced is what you're thinking here. OK. And what could happen is that, um, you know, you could be happy with things right now. And then, you know, if you decided to give in, you know, things would be unbalanced. You would feel things would, for some of you. you like I said, you don't want to give up the, the freedom to do whatever it is that you want when you want to. Okay, so yeah, you got a definitely got a decision that you need to make. Um, with the Seven of Wands here, you don't want to fight. You know, you don't want to fight. Some of you with the Seven of Wands in reverse, you know, you do want to be with this person. Okay, you put all the competition to the side. Um, but for some of you, it's just not love with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And, you know, just because it's not love doesn't mean that you don't care for the person. Okay, and you don't want to break their heart. But, um, you know, you, so the person thinks that you're being an asshole with the, um, with the queen of wands in reverse, you know, and it's just like, okay, well, you know, is it really worth it? Is it really worth, you know, having this person feel this way about me, you know, but you've got to make a decision with the world card here. Okay. Because. You can't continue with the third party situation with the three of cups here, with the six of cups here in reverse. You're, you're, you know, to be able to continue with this third party situation, that's unrealistic expectations with the six of cups reverse. So with the seven of pentacles in reverse here, you're getting antsy about things. You're ready to make a move because you want was you want to be happy, but you got to get your business off the ground first. You know, you want to get things to the point where you know, there's a lot of growth and fertility, you know, and you're going to do whatever it takes to do that, you know, and if you have to, you know, end things and look like you're an asshole, then, you know, you're considering that. Okay, you're going to do whatever it is that you need to do to get where you want to go. I understand that. So let's get you some messages from spirit and see what's going on, Aries. All right, what do we got for my Aries? Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Who else got this? Was this Scorpio who got this? Somebody else got this. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Let's see what the message is. Um, the numbers are number four. And seven, four plus seven is 11, which is the justice card. Again, you know, you wanted to be fair, you know, so you got to figure out a way to do that. All right. So let's see what spirit's uh, advice is. So says pig spirit appears to remind you of the right use of intelligence, a gift we all have that is meant to be used with love, compassion and discernment. Intelligence means recognizing the value of intuition partnered with smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When pig spirit appears, you are called to reject your analytical mind and use it for the highest good. 
You were called to respect it, not reject it. You're called to respect that analytical mind uh, and use it for your highest good, recognizing that all facts must be considered even when they do not fit with what you already know. Interesting. Now, spirit blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-mindedness, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally, as we mull over our ideas of what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking, shaped by the wisdom you have accumulated, and the intuition that will lead you or will tell you when you have more learning to do because not all the facts are in. Now is the time that your decision-making powers are reliable, for you are aligned, you're in alignment with Pig Spirit's keen intelligence. So that's an interesting message for some of you. So, you know, think about how you will, you know, the best way to communicate this with this person. Okay? So, you know, look at it from, this is saying, you know, use your intellect to look at this. You know, maybe you're thinking from a place of emotion, you do want to take the person um, into consideration, but you do also want to be fair, right? So you're going to have to determine how you're going to do this. Now, for some of you, I'm going to read this protection message because this may apply. So are you ruminating, turning thoughts around and around in your head, but not getting nearer to a decision or solution? Pig Spirit is here to protect you from analysis paralysis. Let your mind test, um, let your mind rest now and allow your intelligence to mingle with the mysteries of intuitive guidance. Releasing your tight hold on facts and unsolved puzzles, whether it can be relationship or any other aspect of your life. In fact, now might be a good time to think about something else altogether and release your grip on the uh, needing to know. Now, when your thought processes are muddied by fear and anxiety, allow pig spirit to lead you back to the right use of your natural intelligence. Take a break, relax, and release that ball of worry. Soon the smart choice will become clear to you. More facts may be needed, more digging for information, or more questioning. When seeking to learn more, enjoy the process of using your thinking prowess. All the elements of your intelligence are reliably guiding you now once you've given your mind a rest. Okay, so for some of you, you're overthinking this situation, okay? Yeah, with the um, Five of Swords in Reverse and the King of Swords in Reverse, you're overthinking it, definitely with the King of Swords in Reverse. Now, you may need to just take a break. Start thinking about something altogether. Perhaps you um, go to a movie. Get your mind off of it for a minute. Think about something totally different and allow the rest of your energy to process what it is. And eventually, you're, you will come to a conclusion as to what you need to do. Um, like Spirit said with this message here, maybe you are so indecisive about this and not sure what to do because you need more information. So it's okay to say, okay, let me take a break from mulling this over. Maybe I need more information. If the information that you have is still putting you in a position where you really just don't know what to do. Also, you don't have to feel obligated to make a decision at this time. If this person is someone who you've talked about being married to and they're waiting for you to reply or respond, then just tell them you need more time, okay? Because you haven't come to a decision as to what you want to do. You know, that's being fair and that's being honest. And that also puts you in a position where you're not having to rush to make a decision that you're really just not ready for because you may need some more information. All right, let's see what else we got for you, Aries. We have woman holding a heart. Who else got this? Um, oops, you get your card, it dropped. Who else got this? Was it Virgo? I think it was Virgo. I think Virgo got this. It's either Virgo or Taurus. So some of you may be, you know, dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus. May not be, okay? But um, number 44, that's a master number. I usually don't break those down. Um, I've been taught not to and instructed not to. So you can look up master number 44 or angel number 44 and see if that resonates with you. 
But uh, we're going to take a look at what Spirit's message is for this card. So, it says, The woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright also includes or also could indicate that presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help you with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend to a new love interest or a friend coming your way. So for some of you, the key to this situation and you getting a resolution to this situation is you encountering someone who is a woman. Um, she could come to you as a friend, a confidant. You know, she could come to you as maybe a teacher, okay? Or she could come to you as a lover. But she's going to help you to determine how you feel in this situation. So don't jump into any conclusions yet. You know, take your time making your decisions. See what this person's energy is and see if that has an effect on the decision you're trying to make. Okay? So for some of you, that's spirit's message. Others of you, we have different pages. It says you and this person don't share the same vision. So for some of you, you, um, you know, deciding on if you want to be with this person, um, for some of you, it's not going to be a yes because you don't have the same visions. Okay? Maybe you're into business right now and this person doesn't. Maybe they want to start a family right now. You know, you guys could have two different views on life right now. Friendship. It says the friendship is leading to more. So maybe some of you have already met this woman. And that is why you're not able to make a decision. Because you feel that this relationship is leading to more. Okay? So you're conflicted. That's why we have the two of pentacles reversed. For others of you, take a leap of faith. It says it's safe to make the move you're considering. Some of you want to take a leap of faith and get married. Okay? Some of you want to take a leap of faith and um, tell this person that you're not interested in marriage. Some of you want to take a leap of faith because you're interested in getting to know this new person and you want to see what's going on with that. Some of you want to take a leap of faith and be honest and tell the person how you feel. Whether it's, you know, I don't want to be married or I'm not interested in a serious relationship or, you know, I'm sorry, but we're just on different pages. So, you know, you guys got some decisions to make. I hope this helped. Please um, let me know in the comments if it resonated. Um, if you uh, like the video, please click the like button. I love you guys, and I will see you um, next week, Aries. Peace out.